Hey, good afternoon. We continue to investigate a violent gang-related homicide that occurred over the main long weekend and are asking anyone who has information to come forward. On Saturday, May 22nd, 2021, at approximately 5.30 p.m., CPS were called to the 1800 block of 26th Avenue Southwest for multiple reports of gunshots in the area. Upon arrival, police located a man suffering from gunshot wounds inside his vehicle, which was in the alley behind 26th Avenue Southwest. The man was pronounced dead at the scene. Immediately after the shooting, suspects abandoned their first getaway vehicle in the alley of the 2200 block of 31 Avenue Southwest and transferred to a second getaway vehicle, a blue four-door Subaru Impreza. Before fleeing the scene, witnesses reported seeing at least two suspects light the stolen van on fire. We believe that one of the suspects may have sustained burn injuries to his hands and arms during this incident. Investigators have been in touch with hospitals throughout Alberta and British Columbia. However, we have not yet identified any suspects. We are releasing images of the blue Subaru Impreza that the suspects fled the Martaloupe area in and are asking anyone with information to come forward. An autopsy was conducted yesterday and the victim has been identified as Gur Kirit Kalkut, also known as Gary Kalkut, 25 years old, of Calgary and Surrey, British Columbia. This homicide is believed to be directly related to the ongoing gang conflict that has been occurring throughout the Lower Mainland in British Columbia. This incident was targeted, pre-planned and deliberate, and the offenders showed absolutely no regard for the safety of Calgarians. At the time of the shooting, there were at least five residents who were in a nearby backyard who, have, who could have easily been struck by a stray bullet. I will now take any questions. Thank you. Jesse, you can go ahead with your question. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm wondering if you are able to confirm if the victim was at a halfway house and if you can, can you say what he was doing there? Yes, the, um, the victim was a resident um, of a uh, halfway house and any further questions in regards to um, criminal charges or any other information related to uh, that house can be directed to Corrections Canada. Thank you very much. I just have one more question. Uh, I'm wondering if you're expecting uh, violence or gang violence to escalate over the next couple of weeks because of this incident. Obviously, uh, we're very concerned about the level of violence uh, that's occurring not only within our city, but in the province of British Columbia. As we know, with uh, gang violence, it is very retaliatory in nature, and I would expect further violence to result from this. I'm wondering, are you possibly able to elaborate at all when you say further violence um, as to what kind of violence or um, or if anyone specifically in Calgary uh, would be targeted or anything like that? Obviously, we're working very closely with our law enforcement partners in British Columbia. And obviously, the key to uh, to moving forward and holding people accountable is the exchange of intelligence and information, and we'll continue to do that. Thank you very much. Are there any additional questions? Brian, you can go ahead with your questions. Hi, uh, sorry about that. Can you hear me okay? I, I can hear you. Okay, so can you can you just explain uh, why this has spilled into Calgary? What is what is the connection between what we saw on the weekend and what's been going on in the Lower Mainland? Well, I think it's uh, well known that uh, anyone associated uh, to gang members, whether that be friends or family, um, can be possible targets. And in this case, obviously, our victim was targeted. 
His brother, uh, as you know, was uh, was murdered on May 13th in the uh, city of Burnaby uh, outside of a restaurant. And, and what is at the heart of this uh, dispute? Well, that's a great question for uh, CFSU BC, um, but obviously it stems to gang ties, drug networks, and probably uh, personal uh, vengeance and animosity. Okay, and you mentioned five people in a, in a nearby backyard. Has, has everyone been cooperative so far or has there been a reluctance just given the nature of the, of the crime? We've received great cooperation from the residents of Bankview and Martaloop. We, uh, we know that the only way we can solve this is with information coming forward from the public. We've collected hundreds if not thousands of hours of CCTV which we're combing through, which has identified a getaway vehicle, the uh, blue Subaru Impreza, which was last seen heading northbound on Crow Trail Trail from 33rd Avenue. We expect that we will receive more information and I can't um, understate the importance of information coming forward. We know that there are people in the community who know who is responsible, whether that be in Calgary or uh, the lower mainland, and we need that uh, information to move this forward. Obviously, we're extremely concerned about the public level of violence, uh, not only to um, members of the public, but also to uh, members of our police service. Are there any additional questions? That looks like everyone. So um, with that, uh, we will conclude this press conference. Um, if you wanted a high definition copy of the video, just put in a request through our uh, media relations unit. Um, if you have any other additional details, you can contact us. Thank you.